everyone and welcome back to Freshman Healthy YouTube. I'm so excited about this intuitive eating series. If you just listened to the last video, the intro video, then you know that I'm in the same location because I'm so excited I'm just shooting the first video here because it's such a beautiful scenery background here in Atlanta, Georgia that why not shoot the first video here? So principle number one, rejecting the diet mentality. All right, anything you've read about diets, anything about not eating past a certain time, anything about fats are bad, carbs are bad, get in this much macros, get in this like ratio of macros to best be healthy. Um, anything, any of those fad diets guys that have promised you any kind of results, I want you to get mad at them right now. I want you to get mad, get angry, and say, I do not believe you any longer. I don't believe your lies. I don't believe that any of these short-term diets or these lose 10 pounds in a month, all of those spring break bikini diets and fitness workouts and programs, um, all of those loose blah, blah pounds and blah, blah time, get mad at them. Say to yourself you are no longer believing them because if you're going to listen to your body, if you're going to intuitively eat, you must, 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 must not listen to these lies. You must reject the diet mentality. You must start to learn to listen to your body and not to these diets and the rules of them. For me, it was like, oh, carbs are bad. Oh, if I had that piece of pizza, I'm going to die or gain 10 pounds. Um, I can't have the ice cream that I love anymore. I have to have frozen yogurt. Um, white bread is terrible. I can't have a sandwich with white bread. It has to either be whole wheat or gluten-free. Like, all these lies I once believed, I had to reject the diet mentality. I had to get mad at all these lies. I had to question all these fears I've had for so long. Um, my dietitian asked me, like, so what, what is wrong with white bread? And like, okay, so maybe whole wheat bread has a couple more whole, like, has whole grains in it, has some fiber in it. But like, in general, guys, white bread's not going to kill you unless you have celiac disease and might cause some issues then. But you just have to reject that diet mentality. You have to say, no longer, I'm going to get mad at you because you've lied to me for so long. You've taken away my happiness. You've taken away the joy of eating and I'm not listening any longer. So that is that guys. Okay. So, um, camera died, but I did want to finish this video. So how can we apply this to our own lives? For me, I had to question long held beliefs. I had to ask why I believed white bread was something I couldn't eat. Why I couldn't have ice cream at night or at any time. Um, when I ate and I went out, why did I have to order off the healthy menu? If I was, especially since I was trying to gain weight, like why? But even if you're not trying to gain weight, like if you're truly listening to your body, you've got to reject all of those long held beliefs all those rules, all those fears. And the way to do that is just daily question yourself. As soon as one pops up, as soon as you start making a decision on your food based on a rule or a fear, you just have to ask yourself, why? Why do I believe that? Is it true? Because um, usually it's not. And you just have to reject the diet mentality. You have to start questioning all those long held beliefs. And it's gonna be a long process because there's probably a lot of them. But every single day you're gonna become more and more free and it's gonna be the best feeling ever once you're just freed from the whole entire diet mentality in general. So hope you guys like this video. Um, comment below, like I said, any fears or food rules you have. Click the thumbs up if you like this. And make sure to be following me on Snapchat, Sarah underscore Grace 11, and Instagram, Fresh Fit and Healthy for daily inspiration. Till next time, love your support. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Things that were brought up in the comments in my last video. Anything with a short-term fix or something that is instant, 
um, medicine for a problem, you could say, is probably not going to offer long-term results. Now, intuitive eating, you can be thankful because it does offer long-term results, but...